Yeah, welcome to this video. Yeah, this is a bit different. Yeah, we got a dual commentary again. And um, yeah, I've been challenged to a, to a duel here by this guy, G -du -du G -du -du -can. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a um, YouTube channel as well, and he will do commentary just as I'm doing it. So um, I would like to point out that channel to you. He's got a pretty fresh channel and very little views, but he's taking a huge effort in producing the video. So make sure to check him out. JD Cannon is the, is the name of the channel, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to put that link into, um, into the description, of course. So we've got a Nimzo here. Um, the, the time control is 3-2, by the way. Um, yeah, d5 is normal here. Black also has something like d6 and e5. I have a soft spot for those ideas with d6, but d5 is just um, the simpler move to play. Yeah. Now we can take on d5 or bishop b2. Bishop b2 is the move that is recommended in some modern books. However, I don't think that it leads to anything. Black is totally okay after taking and going c5. Now he takes a while. With 3-2, you can uh, take some liberties with your time. It's not, um, you're not in such a rush. Okay. Um, yeah, now I have two basic ideas. I can play with c5 or with c6. And I can also do this, starting with a5, so that b4 is not happening. Normally, you want to play c6 in this position and only play c5 in cases where white is playing f3. So I'm going to start with that, with c6. And if he goes f3, I will play c5 to get counterplay in the center. No, it's not happening. He's playing as rook to e1, hmm, okay. Okay, I'm going to develop that knight. I mean, knight d7 would obstruct the bishop. By the way, don't um, be irritated by the, the ratings, yeah? It looks a bit a bit weird there. Um, I, I have 2,600 something. This is what ICC has as the so-called blitz rating. Yeah, this is the non-auto pairing, yeah, the challenge system where you can just um, challenge people. And this is a different rating than the five minute. In the challenge uh, system, there are ratings of 3000 something. 2600 is kind of, it's not bad, but it's not like a top rating. And his rating is uh, completely off because he just uh, very recently registered on the ICC. So. Um, he's um, he should be um, a bit higher actually. So let's see here. Do I just take on e4? That would be the simple solution. I'll just do that. If he plays knight takes, I have f5 right, and I'm winning a piece. So has nice to take with that bishop. On the other hand, if I go f5 now, what is this? The e1 rook is not protected. Hmm. Isn't f5 a move? I don't see why not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's uh, go for that. Yeah, I guess he had to take with the rook on e4, which is not the most um, natural move ever, but probably what he needed to do. Here I'm not really seeing any um, any particular um, way to, to save himself. I'd probably check on b3. So anyway, I have to 
let's grab that piece so i'm piece up hooray yeah and um, i'm getting a knight to d5 which makes things quite comfortable yes so knight d5 i guess knight e4 i go bishop f5 so um he's got one pawn right just one pawn bishop on e5 is um is a pretty good piece so it's not um i still have to be a bit circumspect but um it's not really that dangerous bishop g6 was my intention we will know nothing wrong with that so what about uh, maybe this and just attack that rook and ask ask it um, where it wants to go does it have any any uh, natural squares yeah this is not really um, a natural square i'm going to place c5 now and um, attack his center here so is there a threat i don't i don't see it so i'm going to take on d4 he has to speed up now okay h4 time warning yeah, because I'm under <laughs> under one minute and three minute two. Um, this is feels like pretty early warning. Okay, h5, I can still just take. So no real issue. Can even go d3. White forfeits on time. Yeah, he, he lost on time. Um, yeah, that was a pretty equalish position um, up to that point where he went e4. But um, we're going to play the second game now. Incoming and only challenge. Oh yeah, here we go. I can accept that. Game and started. Now I got the white pieces. Um, oops, no, not the rook. <laughs> yeah, I'm going knight f3 and uh, c4. My usual kind of stuff. And e3. That's an interesting move order where white is not playing um d4 it's exactly um geared against this kind of move c takes c takes queen b3 yeah in case if you're wondering his uh, over the board rating is i think roughly about 2000 so um it's um, a slight mismatch here, but he um, he challenged me, and um, I'm I'm up for that. I will play those um, dual matches. I really like to do them. I think um, they are they are good fun, and um, it doesn't hurt to um, yeah to to introduce other channels and um, give people uh, choices and 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 ideas what other channels do, and uh, yeah maybe you can set up your own channel it's just uh, it's just fun to do so what happens here b7 and d5 this is a quite awkward situation yeah not something that um, is played with much enthusiasm but it's actually probably the best move mm, yeah probably d4 it is not that bad, yeah. It looks a bit strange, bishop f5 and then back, but in fact, white has played e3 as well. It's not like um, I'm going to uh, smash him here quickly. Um, black is, is okay, he can go e6 and so on. And um, while I'm, of, of course, I'm sorry, of course, tempy up, it's not, um, it's not a huge issue really so what now just rook c1 or no maybe rook c1 not quite sure if 
he goes e5. I think I can take d5. There's no real reason not to. Yeah, might must be white must be somewhat better because of the the this, the quicker and more active development, but um, I'm really not sure that it is that much. Okay, knight a4 looks very, very normal, very tempting after a6, but he's got e5, maybe. Yeah, but that's not really that great. So let's go knight a4, trying to jump to to c5. Hmm. I'm I'm a greedy person sometimes. What about b7? Hmm. I might have knight takes d4. This this kind of idea. Uh, possible. Okay, let's just get that bishop. Dark squared bishop is good good to remove from black's camp. It is a dangerous piece sometimes on h2, so I'm glad that I could that I now can get rid of it. And I don't really see oh he's not taking it. Wow. I mean I have knight b7. at least, or a4. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's very tempting. I'm not quite sure what's better here. Many, uh, many interesting lines. Hmm. Time warning. Yeah, okay, I have to play. Knight d7 and then a4 also was interesting. Looks a bit sick to take that uh, bishop on d7, but okay, after a4 I'm playing on the light squares and taking the light squared bishop is helpful. Wow, is that such a big decision? Okay, I have to take. And now I think maybe this one. So knight e4, I have bishop e1, keeping that piece. Oh, I can be play bishop b4 now. Or a4. a4 is also making quite a bit of sense. Uh, okay, well, I can take that pawn here, right? Nothing really. Um, no reason not to take it, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to take it. And the bishop here, that's um, very safe now. Maybe this, if he takes a knight e4, he, he will give me the d7 bishop. So if he takes it, he has to go to some wacky square. Okay, prevent knight e4. And now that looks like very nice extra pawn. Let's see. Like rook a7 and so on. Well, that was good. Yeah? Knight, knight to b5, maybe. Bishop. Uh, yeah, I was thinking I can retreat. Okay. Ah, he's attacking b2 now. Hmm. Wow. I didn't think about that. So 
Ooh, I don't want to go B3 here. Let's trade one rook. Knight B2, I can take B8 and play rook B1. That wins the knight. And takes, takes, there's this pin on the bishop on E8. Oops, no, that's not working. Rook B1. It's time. Black forfeits <laughs> on time. Yeah, but that, that uh, piece is lost, huh? No, he's got Rook C8. Ah, I overlooked that. So I played it badly. Huh? After Rook C8, it's going to be going to be a draw. Woo! So bad, um, bad technical play here by uh, by me. So now I was thinking. Uh, I mean, I saw that I can play b3 and everything, but I thought that this is better. But um, no, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really see rook c8. Of course, with those two bishops uh, being lined up on the c file, rook c8 is uh, going to save him. Ah, okay, that, so that was bad. Yeah, let let's start with that game maybe. So we had this opening with e3, after which black quite often is not playing bishop f5, but playing something like a6 or e6, because he feels that bishop f5 is a bit uh, premature. And well, we saw that uh, this is essentially true, um, because here white is a bit better, but it's not a decisive thing or anything. So all that was normal a6 and knight a4. An alternative was e4, opening up the position. That's also interesting because of my better development. That's um, certainly an, an idea. But that also looks normal. Yeah, I um, cannot really go here, or let's say it doesn't really net much. Of course, this is just not doing anything. Knight c5 is good. Yeah, and b5 really surprised me. I thought he had to take and play knight e4. Then I'd go back, and white has a has a slight plus, but that's not um, decisive by any means. Okay, he went b5, and I went knight b7. Yeah, Un unclear what's best. This wasn't also this wasn't bad as well, but I thought a I thought a, a b4 might be a problem with knight a5 coming, and indeed the computer gives that as equal. I I still would have thought that white is a bit better, but um, it wasn't as as good as what I did. I think. And now rook d1. Yeah, this was preparing bishop e1 in, in all cases here. And now I went a4. Hmm. It's not necessary. This is given by the computer. Maybe um, if you trade uh, those two, then bishop b4 is going to happen. It's probably quite good. Maybe a4 was a bit too quick, but he gave me that pawn. And of course, I was happy to take it. And, um, I think it's really just a pawn. There is um, basically no um, no particular compensation. However, of course, I, I screwed it up badly by... Oh, I had bishop a5 huh, here instead of f3. Yeah, I should have looked for that, for tactics here. I was just um, playing that strategically desirable move that takes away e4. But um, it was in, in technical technical mode let's say uh, and here that's a mistake yeah it's a mistake I didn't see rook c8 so that was a good uh, chance um, that, uh, that he could draw that game in the game before let's pull that up in the game before and uh, let me switch that so we had a nimzo and this rook e8 bishop f8 line that's from my book and really a line that I like very much I think it's a very um uh, harmonious way for black to set up his pieces we you get that castling in early and have that nice rook e8 bishop f8 configuration and your center is flexible you can sometimes go with c5 with d5 with d6 everything is um, is flexible and after knight g3 i went d5 that's the simplest way to do it and he took which is not bad as i said this move is um, recommended in many um, in many uh, current uh, books but after capturing castles in c5, black will ultimately equalize, in my opinion. The knight on g3 is not a particularly great place, uh, a great uh, piece. 
and all in all there's just too little going on okay he took and i think all that is pretty normal rookie one knight a6 queen c2 everything's cool yeah and now i think uh, probably he has to play something like let's say bishop d2 rook a d1 and then he can try to play for e4 the immediate e4 is not as as good yeah and here maybe he can take with the knight i was thinking f5 is still interesting but bishop g5 makes things um a bit trickier i guess yeah now the rook is protected on e1 so after let's say this this Check. it might be it might be ideas check check I'm not sure because of this and the rook here not in play maybe this is okay for white quite often two rooks would be stronger than the queen but not sure here yeah this is just not working rook takes was also an option after that i'm a bit better simply because of the iqp and it's not a very harmonious piece setup so black has a slight advantage but knight takes was probably okay bishop takes f5 is just giving that giving that pawn away uh, that piece away i'm sorry and um, yeah he tried that but after a couple of moves um it um it really turned out that there was no um, compensation at all for white here in this uh, in this game yeah okay guys thanks for watching this um do a commentary video make sure to watch uh, jonathan's uh, version as well on his channel always good to compare the two views and uh, check out his channel he's got some good videos on there and uh, he has absolutely um, no views at the moment it's such a new channel okay thanks for watching and check out his place on youtube bye